number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What's going on here first? You know, saying it's been a while since I uh, streamed using my Let's voice. start at the beginning. But, um, try something new. When you first arrived at Riverport this is, uh, University. Quantum Break. It's always looked like something I wanted to play. Really interesting, so. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show, show me what he'd been working on. Crackdown 3. My brother Will was a scientist. Um, was also involved. My plan is to get back. Paul said it was world changing. Red Dead Redemption, it was fine. That's right. You know, things like that. Whoa! Come on! Oh, Watch where oh. you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. <laughs> My man, Iceman. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for um, I. It's just whatever doesn't even matter anymore. I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, can you go home yet? 
metallic turtle. Sophia Armour. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be uh, getting acquainted with her sooner or later. Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Or maybe you're asleep. I wouldn't blame you. Not a lot going down in downtown tonight. Now, unless you're at the Riverport University campus, where the protest against Monarch Solutions is still going on. You see, Monarch wants to knock down the old campus library and put up a brand new building. The protesters are saying that building's a part of our heritage, and we don't need Monarch gobbling up yet another bit of Riverport. Personally, I'm with the activists on this one. I'm sure Monarch's new building would be big and shiny, but look, come on, who gives a shit? I love that old library, <laughs> even if it is kind of falling apart. I like things with character. The Monarchs, hell, they've got all the character of a brand new smartphone. Sure, call me a hipster, whatever. I just think you don't have to be a smug douchebag with organic sneakers and an ironic NASCAR cap to prefer a nice corner restaurant with personality to yet another Olive Garden, you know? Still. Much as it pains me to say this, I think this is a done deal. Monarch's gonna take that library down tomorrow, no matter what we say. Might as well pack it up and go home and get ready for the next fight. Because you know, they aren't done with our town yet, right? Come on, Amy, call it a night! The protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if She's you knew so that Monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Man, dude, it's out. Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Crime drama. Wow. We can't leave this light of the flash. 
ghastly smiles and wicked sweats. He lies in the blood on his face, eyes staring. The one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Sometimes you want to explore with all angles. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Just for that safety whistle. Exactly modest, are we, Paul? Oh, this is man. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Look it up. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. Yo, Paul, you think you got enough space here? <clears throat> well, you know, us business types need somewhere to practice our putting. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. 
Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to... Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Jack, you are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted, scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. And listen. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, 
Years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Just the Cronon conduit initiating. Uh, are you sure it's supposed to do that? The figures are all stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of it, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole. Think? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, I've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. Moderately? Man, it's some bullshit. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand yeah. how massive and far reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Man, where is the help? Besides me. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. What? Two. One. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other. It arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. Uh... All you have to do is hit that switch. <sighs> Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Yeah. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's, he's, he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Yes. Fucking incredible. I mean, just imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. I mean, it's good in theory, Jesus man, but... Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well... be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. 
You saw it, Jack. We did it. Well, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Whoa! Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down! Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack. You have to trust me. For what? No, I gotta let you out. Still in, huh? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. This stuff just floating around, man. Yo. What the fuck is this? It should have worked. It broke. She warned me. I knew she was right. All this time. Who is she? This could all have been avoided. We're too late. Jack! Jack, the airlock is stuck. I can't get out. Come on. It's jammed. This wasn't supposed to happen. The fix is all... Stutter. Now oh, we're lost. Oh! Gotta keep moving. No! 
That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Right. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the server. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming in here. You know, this place in and out. I warned Paul about this. Patience. I tried to make you listen to me by shoving a gun in my face. Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always. Shh. You. Biggest concern right now? Back up some route to flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even any of this, Jack. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. Quiet. Will, are you okay? I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. 
I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Paul was positive that the experiment would work. That the figures were correct. Because his specialists were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Their formulas were missing these variables entirely. You're seriously making corrections right now? Well, if they made them in the first place, <laughs> we wouldn't be here. I guess so. Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, okay. Not so, good. Where do I go find a shield? It's not good. There's the elevator to the lobby. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Where is everybody? I don't like it. You heard the gunfire. Something's gone wrong. Hey! Take it down! Watch out! Ah! These guys are wearing mud. Mud on? Where's mud on front of this? You tell me! Acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Team, now Jack and William Joy's been detained. Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I I need. We need to get to my car. Okay, just just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't oh, be easy. Great. The countermeasure? What the... Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. They did this, didn't they? We're sitting ducks if we stay here. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of us. Where's your car? This way. Yo, dude. 
this dude? No, my car. The patrol in the parking lot. Oh God, that's it's okay. Okay, Will, calm down. Okay, I'll take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Hmm. Here, you'll need the keys. Jack, be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably four on or neutron or some shit.
property. Right. Where's your car, Will? I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back. Go! Now! I swear to God, if you hurt him. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back to him. Fast. I oh. swear to God, if you hurt him. Advancing off target.
loving this, man. Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you with me? You're with them. It's more complicated than. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Well, before it's too late. Supposed to take William, William Joyce, Joyce alive, alive if he doesn't put up a fight. fight. Please, please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut, can the, shut hell the hell up. up. But just shut just the shut fuck up, up, all right? right? Boss said Boss to take him to, to the library. library. Wants, to, wants deal to deal with this with one this first. Person. Well.
is going on in there? We're moving in. Go, go, go! Oh. Gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking me. Gotta keep moving, Jack. Sense. Sense. Dragging this asshole to the library? Airlift's already initiated. He should be gone by now. The time machine. You taking the time machine? Hey, hey. I said no talk. talk. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. <sighs> Nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. This was open it's fire! Joy!
Okay, gotta get to the library. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took me to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Where did that come from? There's gotta be another way in. Looks like I'm not the only one with the grudge. Here I thought it was gonna be a quiet night. But it sounds like things have taken a real bad turn down at the anti-monarch protest at Riverport University. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I've just heard about security personnel. And some reports of gunfire. Now, I don't want to jump the gun here. This is unconfirmed, and obviously I don't know the details, but no matter how you slice it, it sounds like a bad scene. You know I'm not a big fan of Monarch or how they do things, but at the same time, I hope nobody's going overboard with this protest thing. It's just a goddamn building, people. It ain't worth anybody getting shot over. Although, if they are shooting people over it, that's some heinous bullshit right there. Either way, I've got a feeling this is gonna get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Stay safe, people.
gotta slow that thing down somehow. going on around here. He's ready to blow. Now?
I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Jack, I can't move here. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack, I need them. <laughs> Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. I was a little kid getting kidnapped. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Time to come up with one. What? Yeah, I 
think so. We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. Uh. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Lead the way. I don't know where we go. Giant breaking his own spine. Hurry! Through here! Jack! What are you doing? Well, only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait. Trigger. I never wanted this. 
some break. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from my man, Lance Ritty. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force. Damn, I get to, you get to be him? But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. Potentially turn on Monarch. All clear, sir. Alternatively, oh, I could mount a broad PR strategy. Okay. All right. I got to end it right here. I got to end it right here. So, I am loving this game. This game might have went straight to the top of the list. So, all right, y'all. So, let me know what y'all think about this. Hope y'all enjoyed the stream. And I'll be on this pretty soon, especially with the holidays coming up. Vacation coming up. Man, I'm going to be on this mug like crazy. So.